Hello everybody, we're going to continue uh, our little project of making a Power BI report on the Power BI app online. Um, this is on app.powerbi.com. Uh, we're making this report on the online app, not on the desktop version, because uh, a lot of my students, uh, this is for my students in uh, comparative political economy, and a lot of them have Macs, so they don't have the desktop version. Um, so, uh, so the next step this is the fourth video in this series and in this video we're going to uh, make a choropleth map or a shaded map so we're going to go here to visualizations and we're going to find the filled map icon uh, this is right next to the little globe the map icon don't click on the map icon you don't want a normal map you want a filled map um, or at least that's what we're going to be using. There may be cases where you want uh, a different kind of map. Oops, and there I made a mistake. Um, so before you do that, make sure that you're not clicked on any, any of the other visualizations because that will happen. It'll turn one of your other visualizations into a, a filled map or at least try to do that and you don't want it to try to do that. So uh, click on filled map and then next just take country name and drag it into location and that is pretty much all you have to do uh, to get a map in Power BI and from there you can uh, you can start to play with it um, so one thing we might want to do uh, once this thing settles down um, is first of all just create a little more space for it uh, by moving it uh, over Move it over here, and then let's expand it a little bit towards the center. There we go. And then similarly, we can take our bar chart over here, and we can move this over towards the center. And similarly, we can take our line chart and expand that out. There we go. Okay, um, and, and from here now we can continue to edit our map. So let's click on our map. And the next thing we're uh, going to want to do is to uh, click on our uh, format visual. Go to fill colors. And we're going to define the fill color according to the value of female labor force participation. So click on this F of X. This is the conditional formatting icon. All right, and basically it's going to ask you what field should we base this on? Right now it's just the country name basically. And we're going to click into our data set here and uh, into our query or table. And we're going to click on female labor force participation. And then instead of sum, we're going to have an average. And again, looking back at our data that we're working with, um, we want to have the average female labor force participation for each country over all of the years. So that's what we're telling it to do here. So it's going to shade the map based on that. And then we can define the shading color based on, you know, whatever we want, whatever kind of color scheme we want. So we can choose like a dark purple for a high value and we can leave it as light blue for the low value or we can choose something that we think might contrast a little bit better with the dark purple, maybe something like a light red or a pink even. And then um, we can hit OK. You can add a middle, middle color here as well. We're not going to do that right now, but there's lots of different options for shading. And then we can click OK. That should uh, shade the map. We'll just wait for it to update. OK, there we go. Now we have a shaded map and we can see countries like India with very uh, low levels of labor force, female labor force participation are shaded more on the pink side, whereas countries like uh, sub-Saharan African countries or China, uh, which have higher female labor force participation, have the darker purple. And then we can also see when we start to click on these countries that the map then interacts with the other visualizations in the, uh, in the report, which is uh, super cool. Right. Um, so uh, likewise, if we click on the bar chart, if we click on Russia, it's going to zoom into Russia and it's going to show us 
uh, Russia um, and it's gonna also show us the trend for that country down here similar similarly with Brazil if we click on Brazil uh, and so on and so forth and then we can just zoom back out by clicking on the map again and it'll take us right back out to the full you know picture of the world and then if we click on a country that's not in our visualization over here that's not in the bar chart like say we click on the United States it'll still show us the trend for that country and just sort of uh, I guess um, I don't want to say gray out it's not graying out but basically um, fade uh, all of the countries um, in the uh, in the bar chart there um, Okay, so that's uh, how you make a map. I guess the last step we want to do here is just to change the title of, of the map. We don't want to call it country name. We probably want to call it something more interesting like female labor force participation around the world or something like that. Uh, and um, seems like a good title. We'll just wait for that to update. And then uh, that's basically it. We can go ahead and save it. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. And from here, uh, the last step in our report is just going to be to make a scatter plot down here. And, um, and, uh, and that'll be it. I'll see you in the next video.